This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.com. Um, 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 um. Discussing the concept of American Second Civil War or secession is kind of trendy these days. As with any topic, probably the best questions to ask are the ones that aren't getting asked. My question is, in the event of a civil war, how should freedom folk play their hand? Revolution is sweeping one country after another. It's probably just a matter of time before it comes to America. It seems like the least unlikely scenarios would be something along the lines of military versus Hillary, or liberals versus conservatives. It could be states versus states or states versus feds. In the end, usually you wind up with two bad sides slugging it out. In fact, the liberals and conservatives have gotten so bad in the U.S. that they're now better described as socialists and nationalists. Might as well be the Spanish Civil War all over again if that's the scenario, and who on earth are you back in something like that? Well, we Liberty folks sort of represent, in many ways, what the old U.S. was. We think a lot like Calvin Coolidge or Bob Taft, except we're more tolerant on social issues. In that sense, we represent the new America. But the thing that people like Coolidge and Taft and most of the early presidents understood is the power of neutrality. So when there's a fight between two bad factions, we try, as liberty folk, we should be generally trying to stay out of it, uh, prosper from our neutrality the way the Americans tried to before both world wars. Well, at least before, at least uh, before entering World War I. Hopefully many of us are already living a sort of armed neutrality. Uh, but the trick would be, uh, the tricks would be, number one, to be powerful enough that neither major faction wants to target our people. Number two, support the rights, the human rights, of all members of all factions, so as to draw all of them our way and maybe reduce the number and severity of human rights abuses in such a conflict. Obviously, this includes the federal faction, the one that we are most commonly in conflict with these days. In a sense, it might be the most important faction for us to watch over the physical safety of. Although at the moment there are so many millions doing that, millions of people doing that, I'm not sure we need to. The other trick, maybe the most important one, maybe a little bit of a Machiavellian one, would be to try and ensure that we win no matter who loses. This might be impossible, but it might be something to shoot for. But again, the historical precedent is the old U.S staying as far as it could, supposedly, out of foreign conflicts, or at least staying out of them more than most countries. That was the original idea. In the second American Civil War, it might be impossible to avoid getting drawn in, but the trick would be to uh, be the innocent in the conflict and not violently join it anywhere near the outset. Hopefully not at all, possibly only after being forced into it. Other factions should be wooing us instead of booing us, ideally. One technique that might be useful is to assume, or yeah, assume that any attack on our people uh, might have been perpetrated by a side trying to blame the other. So you'd never want to join one side of a civil war because you think the other side attacked you. Maybe you didn't. If some support were to be lent to one side or another, beyond just the normal human rights watchdogging, that support should meet certain conditions. Or maybe I should say it should occur only under certain conditions. Off the top of my head, these conditions might be something along the lines of having that faction prove itself more humanitarian, such as, you know, an agreement where it allows additional access to human rights observers for a period of time uh, or it withdraws from some area under its control that doesn't really want them there. And this kind of thing would have to happen before any alliance could be forged. If there were even someone that could you know, begin to claim to speak for the Liberty faction in the country, I suppose that person could say 
to one of the less bad warring factions in exchange for a certain amount of weaponry to be distributed to the 100,000 people on this list, okay, I, I will offer my personal support and urge all of my supporters to back your faction in the following ways. So even if that faction loses, these 100,000 Liberty folk, or whoever they are, uh, become a decentralized force of their own that can't be conquered after the, uh, the war is over. Whichever faction wins, there's still this very armed group, you know, very well armed group of 100,000 people or so who can say no. And probably, I guess, as part of any such deal, there should be uh, an arrangement that this group is allowed to organize. It's important not to fall into the kinds of traps that the Mexican anarchists or the Spanish Civil War ex anarchists uh, uh, fell into during their wars. In some cases, backing one side and getting very little to show for it at the end. The Second American Civil War would be an almost unmitigated disaster. We want to do what we can to keep it from happening, but be thinking outside the box about what we'd do if it did. Of course, there's another scenario I didn't mention, and that is there could be a civil war of some kind between freedom-loving folk and authoritarian folk. I have some different kinds of thoughts about how to handle and or prevent that, and I'll get into that in a different video. You'll probably see it just coming up next in the, in the playlist. As always, these ideas are brainstorms uh, for you to poke holes in, and there are probably some holes just as the best I can come up with while I'm out taking a walk. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet, chock full of privacy and security features, two-factor authentication, a second password for sending coins, they never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.